Hey, so I woke up at 5. No, not even. I woke up at 2.30. So I only got a couple of hours of sleep. So, uh, not a couple, six. I'm going to try to get a bit early tonight. Yeah. Hopefully that works. Wear my YouTube shirt again. I don't know why I say that every time I am. It's my job. Got to talk about YouTube. I made a few videos today. Feeling pretty good about the videos that I'm making, so I'm excited for that. Been listening to a lot of Macklemore. Originally, I thought it was pronounced Macklemore, but apparently it is Macklemore. So I really enjoy his music, um, and not just the riff shop and stuff. I actually found a song by him called Over. Oh no, what's it called? I can't remember. What's the song called? What's my cut? Oh, what was it called? I can't remember. Fuck, how can I not remember? That's ridiculous of me. Do you want to look me. it up? No. Um. Ah! Can't remember now. It's... Um, it's the same as the Red Hot Chili Peppers song. What's the Red Hot Chili Peppers song? Can we think of that? Come on, we saw them in January. Mm. Over or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'll tell you about the song first. It's about drug abuse and... Other side. Other side. That's it. Not over. Other side. Obviously, Red Hot Chili Peppers also have an awesome song called Other Side. But yeah, he bought this out long before the, the heist with Ryan Lewis was released. It's such a good song. Um, it talks about... Sizzup, which... I don't know exactly what Sizzup is, but Lil Wayne drinks it, takes it, whatever you want to call it. I think it's like cough syrup and alcohol or something mixed together and maybe some other stuff, but it's crazy. And um, he talks about how you shouldn't just take drugs because someone's talking about it, but my favorite part of the song is where he says, um, he mentions people that say weed is not a drug. He says, that's just denial. Um, something about Groundhog Day, every day being the same. And that's very true because when people become addicted to marijuana, they don't do very much at all. All they do is hang out at home and do nothing, pretty much. So yeah, I didn't explain it very well. Go and listen to the song, Other Side is very good. It's very, very good. But yeah, I've been liking Macklemore's music a lot lately. That's cool. I also heard Passenger's song. I don't, I don't hear these things very often because I don't listen to the radio pretty much unless I'm in the car. And even then, it's generally shit music on. But Passenger's song, oh, what's it called? I'm really, I've got a terrible short-term memory. Whatever, the one that the passenger has out now, it's good. Um, Let Her Go, I think it might be. It's a good song. So I'm very musically cool, but his voice is annoying. That's the only downside. It's still a beautiful song, though. And Elise is up for once. I think okay. I, I was out of focus. This is what this says. It says that my... Economic and cultural capital. I hate calling defining everything as capital, but that's what it says. Are lower oh, than the saying. average person in the UK. Really? Yeah, and then social capital is average. Mm. At least just took some um, it's a survey. It's complete Was it crap. from the BBC? Yeah, it's complete yeah. crap because it's trying to say that there are different types of class um, systems yeah. to, besides economic, which I don't think they are. I don't think either. I think, um, I don't know, defining things is stupid on a level like that anyway. Yeah. I don't know. I'm in one of those moods. I've got a headache as well. I think I might have a sore neck because I read something. Obviously, you should know this and if you don't, I don't know why you don't know it, but your brain cannot feel pain. Your brain doesn't have nerve receptors. So pretty much if your head gets opened up, obviously that's going to hurt. But if your head somehow had a hole in it and you could touch your brain, it would not hurt. You could stick something into it and it wouldn't hurt. Um, maybe just on the surface, I don't know. But yeah, so headaches obviously aren't a pain in your brain. It's just the um, nerve receptors telling that you're in pain, so it's in your head. So you can get headaches from obviously dehydration. You can get headaches from... Um, S muscle soreness in the neck and perhaps the back or like a pulled muscle and things like that and you can get it from over straining of the eyes so if you're looking at, at a computer screen all day such as me which I always do um, then that can contribute to a headache and I'm sure there's other things like 
you'd probably get a headache if you had a brain tumour. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, so I don't know. I think I've got a bit of a sore neck, so I think it is my neck that's contributing to it. But I'm feeling pretty good today regardless of that. Um, it's Wednesday and on Friday night, Rhiannon and the family's coming down like I said yesterday. So I'm, I'm just excited for that. I'm just passing the time until then. I'm going to try and get a whole bunch of videos done because I know from Friday night until maybe Monday when they leave, I won't get anything done. So I really need to crack down or otherwise I'm not going to be doing anything. Yeah, so I'm in quite a smiley mood for some reason. I'm thinking, I got this awesome app on my phone, on my iPhone. Um, I'll try to show you. It's called Awesome Notes. Awesome Note or Awesome Notes. Pretty cool. Um, just check it out if you can. It's a paid app. And I'm thinking about trying to learn another language. Um, initially, I'm going to do it through apps and things like that, but eventually I might take a class or something and then converse with people that speak the certain language that I decide to learn. I either want, want to learn Hindi or I want to learn Spanish, so... I mean, Spanish would be a more universal language to learn, but Hindi is used in a lot of parts of India, so I love India and I want to go there many times in my life. I don't know. I don't know what to do, but obviously, in a place like India, there's all different dialects. There's Mahatra, whatever it's called, um, Gujarati, and a lot more than that. I think some Indians also speak Urdu, which is Urdu, sorry, which is um, it's like Pakistani. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, I've got to decide which one I want to learn, and I'm going to give myself like a, a kind of a time frame every day to at least do some learning exercises for say 15 minutes and see how I go um, after a couple of months so yeah I'm looking forward to that I'd love to be able to like converse in a little a little bit of a way like by the time I go to India again so looking forward to that yeah I'm um, talking a lot aren't I it's it's cold now so I can wear tracksuit pants again which is amazing but I can also wear these awesome socks they look dirty because I've been wearing them but they've got love heart pads on the feet and they're all fluffy they're incredible um, they were two dollars at the two dollar store and Elise and I got them like last, last winter. So, I like that it's getting cold again. It's, pre it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. But yeah. I don't know, I'm wearing my owl ring too. It, originally it was Elise's. It's one of those crappy ones that was cheap. So it leaves my finger green. This clip has gone for almost eight minutes. God damn it. Um, but I really like it. It's cool. So I'm going to end this clip now that I know it's been going for eight minutes. <laughs> About that time for me to go to bed. Um, downloading some language programs. See how I go. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's only one o'clock, so I'm pretty happy with that. What else? I can't remember. I haven't uploaded yes yesterday's vlog, so I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Hopefully early in the morning if I can muster that. If I can wake up that early. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow.